to let you know what this healing is for is we are all connected and I was saying how we're connected and so our vibration is affecting everyone else's vibration their vibration affects our vibration so in essence when we heal ourselves and we heal the animals we stop the uh recycling we stop the suffering we have to remove the suffering out of our bodies now animals have got a soul look at him He's got a soul and he and all animals um, also will go on cycles as well. And we are going to now remove the recycling of their suffering and we're going to do it through us because when we have suffering in ourselves, we produce suffering outside of ourselves. So as above, so below. Now, give me a wave if you guys down below can hear me. Okay. Right, so Robin can't or can. She can barely hear me. Okay, okay so just, okay, so Jacinta's the only one that I can't see at the moment. So if she's watching, you know, you probably, if you're on, anyway. So, okay, so that is this purpose of this video, okay? And I'm going to remove it out of each one of you for humanity we are like we're what that's what one is that is what being one is okay now well there's this a little rough this one where this trial it's just that yeah, i just i just got to rock and roll with how this all works um and i'm pretty tech savvy too i'm pretty tech savvy um but you know the energies and stuff always gets a little bit yeah, agitated. It was getting agitated before I was doing this video. There's all this stuff going on out there. Anyway, so um, because once we stop the suffering, once we remove these imprints in our energy field, 
we stop ourselves getting recycled and acting like a battery, right? So I'm going to mute you guys as well because I can hear Vicky. I was going to mute you. All right. So I'm going to bring you up one at a time and then we will do that healing in connection to humanity. So I looked at some of your words. So what I need is the age and your words that you said. I did have a, uh, I can share, let's have a look, see if I can share a document at media and um, and then, because that did have the words on, if you forget, let's just see. Oh, it's only going to show, yeah, no, it's only going to show the document. All right, so let's bring up, I'm going to bring you up, Renee. You're coming up in a second. All right, there you are. You can you see me, Renee? Yeah, we can't. I'm gonna unmute you too. There we go. Unmute you. Beautiful. So thank you for your patience and thank you for um being part of this, you know. It means a lot to me. And I and I oh god. I you know, I was creating that video to to I was I'm just it just means a lot to me that we can stop the recycling. Now I'll tell you why there'll be interference, because as it said in the matrix um the guy held i can't remember his name he held up a battery and said that's what we are we are a battery what means we're a food source mm -hmm. and animals are a food source when they suffer as well so and they get and they go through a lot of suffering and i find it quite amazing how some people couldn't care at all um they go some people think animals are there to be tested on that I go, why would you wear makeup? Like they'll say, no, animals are born so we can test them for makeup or animals are born and we breed them so that we can eat them. Mm. You know, I mean, I'm all I'm saying is everyone because they're tied to an opinion, but just because you're brought up with it and it doesn't mean that it's right. And just because I offend you doesn't mean that, you know, like I'm not going to avoid offending because... I'm just going to say it's suffering. So whether you want to cause suffering or not is, is but I, I'm, that's not my, that's not my uh, mission. And, and I'm just saying, just because it is, and it might offend you, doesn't mean I'm not going to say it or whether it's, you know, I'm just saying, I don't avoid, I can't avoid the facts that an animal suffers when it's tested on and put stuff in its eyes and on its skin or when it's thrown in, you know, disgusting, uh, you know, like it's been in these fires and, and you know, they were all um, had an agenda behind it. But, look, let's get the politics out of it. All I want to do is if we're a vibration, we have created this planet, we have created our life. And for me, I personally can't live happily if I know an animal or people suffer. So that's basically and what I can't live in because if you suffer, I suffer. That's really it. And the sensitive people will get that. They'll go, well, you suffer, I suffer. Yeah? So yeah. what we do is we take out our suffering permanently. We stop the recycling through all our implants. And then when you're free, you walk around healing uh, lifting up vibration for animals and particularly at the moment it's going to be for the animals beautiful so I hopefully you're all cool with that you know that yeah. I'm you know you know that I'm but I, I just I let everyone be what they want to be but all I'm saying is um, I that's just my 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 mission and then if anyone wants to be part of it I just love that and I want to invest in in this but the thing is I was thinking about how my mission has come about it wouldn't have come about if if i didn't create friends of killing then if i didn't have women powerful healers and women that are empowered my, my mission to help animals just would never have got there because as i said you can create a sanctuary and save them but you're only saving a few whereas when you shift that blueprint of us which then we can heal an animal, it changes as a really core level. So I look at that journey. So without you, I can't do this. And, and without you being healed, we can't heal each other. So in essence, it's perfect. Yeah. All right. Does that yeah, make sure. sense? Sure does. All right. So thank you. All right, Renee, I don't know if you've got your words with you. I can check them. But, I do. Okay. Can you please name your words? <clears throat> the disconnected. Mm -hmm. hopelessness, overwhelm, grief, 
the future and soul shock. Okay. So, and I gave you an age. Yep, seven. Seven. Do you remember any stress or trauma? I've been trying to think and think and think and there's nothing that comes up at the moment but I do tend to not be able to remember <clears throat> quite a lot from the younger ages I yeah. do struggle tapping into that okay yeah okay so you you and that and it said soul shock so often when you uh you have shock then um that will be blocking mm -hmm. blocking the memories blocking your memory yeah that makes and sense. I'm going to go, it was disconnected as well, didn't we? Yes. Yep. So do you find us, uh, there is disconnected and hopeless. So that those words would make, an overwhelm, those words would make some sense for you, wouldn't they? They do, yeah. They're spot on. Yeah. And and your and your childhood wasn't, you know, great, right? It was, it was very traumatic. Yes, very, yeah, very isolating. Yeah. Very isolating childhood. Yeah. youngest of six kids so there wasn't yeah. much time yeah. for me um yeah, yeah. okay hard. very hard childhood yeah okay so we're going to remove the shock actually that's stuck in your body because these fires are shocking right yeah what has happened and i can't even look at it so i'm sure if i started looking at it i'd, I'd be crying but i've looked i've seen some of it and i saw a little kangaroo stuck at a baby kangaroo stuck at a fence burnt mm -hmm. dead and so uh, that was enough. Yeah, so enough. That's all. Yeah. I, uh, that was enough for me. But that's shocking. So you you've been in shock. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to release the shock, uh, so that you then you won't see any more shock. The opposite of shock would probably be calm and like mm -hmm. humanity, right? Wouldn't it kind of be calm and humanity? Yep. Maybe. Absolutely. Have you found that you've seen a lot of shock and, and inhumanity? What have you yes. seen? Yes. Yeah. I've seen it in my workplace as well when I am working in child protection, in oh. youth homelessness, um, as intensive case manager for um, youth and leaving care. So I've, I've seen a lot. <laughs> and, and yeah, that makes so much sense because what happens is if shock is in your energy field, it, you, it shows up and, and you just don't, you know, you think it's not by chance you ended up in childcare, right? And then you saw some shocking mm -hmm. things, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I was guided to that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's just start uh, taking deep breaths. I want you to breathe right in from that root chakra. So you've got to breathe right in. So it's almost like you starting from the bottom of your spine and then you breathe in and you bring it up and then you release it out, the shock and trauma. And I'm just going to call in the guardians, shamanic healers and enlightened beings to now assist with the removal of the shock trauma and stress embedded in renee's consciousness from age uh that seven. seven ask them to come in and resolve and release that from her body Yeah, I felt that. Did you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel it's actually still in the bottom here. You feel what? It's still coming. It's still coming out. It's yeah. Out. Fine. Yeah, I feel this tingling running through my body. Um, so everybody that's going to be in this healing, make sure, and everyone watching, make sure you breathe in from your root chakra, which is the bottom of your spine and you Bring it right up because that's your fear and survival chakra. Oh, yep. <sighs> that's good. Oh. Okay, so now I'm picking up the title so we can see our warning. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, so Renee, you're done. So you might get kicked off towards the end, but um, at, at like I don't know if I, um, but keep watching this. Perhaps you could jump mm. off and just watch it on Facebook to make sure that we're all okay and then give us little messages up in and then we'll, and then I'll see if I can get us all on at the end. Okay. And so you want me to do the messages in the Facebook group? Or yeah, no, no, just, yeah. just up in our little our little group sure. uh, so that if it's something's going on, it's not working, just let us know. But I want you to come in at the end. So I'm going to go through each one of us. Sure. Um, but all right. So, all right, so keep, keep watching this on the group. Okay. Thank you, Renee. No Bless you. Good Bless you. Lovely. See you. Thank you. See you soon. All right. Okay. I'm going to pull up. Up to Vicky. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just unmuted you. All right. All right. What's your words? So my words are the fool, trapped, disempowered, spirituality, helpless, and self-esteem, age six. Right. Okay. So, what did you recall at age six? I just, uh, I think I was, I had no self-esteem. I was very, uh, I just think primary school, very, uh, very afraid, constantly afraid. I think uh, first day of school, I don't know if it was age five or six, just being ripped away from like my parents and then kind of put into this new environment. So it was quite, yeah, quite. Um, Scary, my self-esteem. I just yeah, felt trapped in the school. Um, it's not very conducive. It's not very. Was it friendly? Uh, I think it, I don't know why because I didn't I didn't do preschool kinder, so it was just going from oh, home oh, into this right. environment. So there yeah. was no adjustment, so I felt yeah. like. Uh, and I just remembered there was a grade six girl that would find me during lunchtime and come and console me. Um, yes, yeah, so I was really fearful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, had to sort of line up on time and just follow the rules. Um, okay, so what that's saying is you have been put in shock as well in the way that, um, you know, thrown in and in a completely different environment that could be hostile because it's not, you know, I'm gonna actually going to take you off, Renee, because I've got to get Jacinta on because you're taking a spot. I can only get four down below. So I'm going to take Renee off. Um uh, yeah, so that's again you. Uh, so what happens is you'll be thrown in to more hostile environments through your, li through your life. Yeah. Which is what's happened to the animals. Right. They're in their natural habitat. They're with their, you know, family. And then they get, you know, this is a hostile environment, these fires. It's shocking. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, so that is what's in your energy field and we've got to remove this hostility and this shock of just ripping away your foundation. What are you feeling, Vicky? Very emotional. Um, I think even the last couple of days coming, uh, you know, thinking about this amazing healing, thinking about the animals that were helpless is really... Um, it gets me emotional. So, yeah, and that was you. You were also helpless. So we. This is this is part of the healing. We've got to remove the helplessness and the emotion out of you, so that uh, I know it's I know it's horrific, but we. It's called rise. We have to keep moving up. So I'm going to remove yeah. this this horror out of your energy field, out of that age when you were thrown into the school. So we're going to go deep into your soul, into your uh, blueprint and your consciousness of that time and remove the shock and the horror and the fear and the loss of your uh, guardians and the loss of your parents who is taking care of you and nurturing you and ask the guardians, enlightened beings, the shamanic healers and also to return any missing fragments from anybody that has lost fragments from the shock now really be released from your body mm. 
Oh, wow. Whoa. Good, Jacinta. I can see you down there now. Ah, okay. This way. Okay. Whoa. All right. What did you feel in that, Vicky? I feel lighter now. Um, I just feel much lighter now, much clearer. Let's bring in the angels now to surround that little soul and that's going to go surround the animals that are in that lost and they're helpless. It's all of those words that you said is yeah. what they, they are now feeling and we're yeah. going to bring in the yeah. angels to heal you, to heal them and make them feel safe that, that they have food, they have shelter, they have comfort. And freedom. That they And freedom and humanity. We're going to bring you back in the humanity. This is why it's so important that we work on ourselves. It, I've never learnt it more than it's always within. And when we go back in, we heal and we're told exactly the opposite mm -hmm. so out there. That's the problem. And then when you awaken, you see the agendas and then you have all your power. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. So, I want you, okay, so for each person at the end of this, I'll bring you back on. Uh, yeah. Just I uh, want you to check for a healing pathway. We're not going to do the full healing pathway, but I want you to look between all the six modules and pick out one, and then we're just going to abbreviate them all to finalise it when everyone comes back on. Yep. So just, so uh, how are you feeling? Because I'm going to bring uh, Robin on next. No, I feel good. Yeah, body's kind of just feeling, you know, more relaxed. More yeah. Clear. yeah yeah really good thank you okay so and can you check i, I don't know if it, i'm going to jump you off because you can jump back on because I want, I want you to check the facebook group just go in and see if this is playing okay and just yep. put a little note up in our little group okay wonderful thank you bye. bye all right up you go robin comes up see the flow is a happening <laughs> hello can you hear me robin I can, yes. Can you hear I, me? Yes, absolutely, very clearly. Okay. And Jacinta, okay. wave if you can hear me. Yeah, okay. So Jacinta, I can see you down below, so you're up next. All right, so we've got it. We've got some flow happening now. <laughs> uh, we do. Yeah, and, and I'm going to cross my fingers that that last video will go up and not just me on it. All right, now, what are your words? The hero... Insecure. This one. Insecure. Inse judgment. Yeah. Helpless. Help. help. Life. Yeah. Yeah. Soul radiant form. Yeah. So helpless makes a hero is a bit like, it's a bit like having yes, to yeah. say, be a savior. I'm just going to turn her off. Be like rescuer. trying to be a savior. Rescuer. That's me. So if you're a rescuer and a hero, then guess what? You have to have people to rescue, to, to, to give you that title, right? To give you that position. That's right. Yes. And you do that really well. I do. <laughs> Always have. You, you, you are rescuing everybody, right? Yeah, that's my job. So, yeah, but <laughs> you, we've really. got to change your job. Yes, Absolutely. No, but this is, this, is, this, this is a universal law that we miss, right? Don't we? Mm. Yeah. We miss that. If we're out saving outside of ourselves, it's really ourselves inside that need the saving, right? Yep. What What year did you have? What age? Age of 11. Okay, so what was yep. going on? So that was after my hospital, where, hospital experience at age nine where I was, yeah, and then my mother rescued me. Well, this, what happened at the age of 11 was when I 
was forced to stay down at grade six and I felt totally deserted, abandoned, unloved, not good enough, what am I doing wrong? So that's a judgment and helpless and life is, <laughs> yeah, it's all about so You that. just described the abandoned, the unloved, hurt the animals are feeling abandoned and they're out there they're they're just they don't have food they don't you know they're they're unloved they're just totally isolated so that's that's what is relating to the animals and it's about my survival that it's about I have to depend on myself I can't depend on anybody else and and yeah and that's not really good enough (laughs) either yeah and so so yeah source isn't helping you you disconnect yourself from source because you don't really because it didn't help you back then, right? And and no. and it's not like it's 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 not natural to think that someone else is going to help you, is it? No, nobody's going to help me. That's the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Nobody's rescuing me. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. So we've got to reverse that so that we get source rescuing, healing, helping, uh, taking care of you in spite of it and we will get them to do that for the animals so that they have that they can restore their pure connection that they they to source and humanity because that's been taken from them hmm. and feel safe and, and have you, supported and feel hmm. safe yeah and supported hmm. exactly so that, yeah yeah it's supported hmm. um do you find that you've had that throughout your life, feeling abandoned, feeling unsupported? Always. Yes, always. Yeah. And also Ooh. a feeling of dread, like I need to build a bunker, like I have to gather everything to so as I can stay safe because of the next, waiting for the next, like, f- shoe to drop off, <laughs> be thrown under the and bus. And you had that with the fires, didn't you? You had that with the fires. Yeah. Yeah. There was all those feelings. Yeah. yeah. And it's like always, as the other two girls said, shock. Like it's always, what? Like it just upon me like that has been. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we, we've got to see see that that's, that's coded in your DNA and then to supersede it as dark night of soul, we have to keep saying, yes, I want change. I've watched people yeah. have opportunities but they don't take it. Um, and you know, and what, what it's more important, I, I, I go, you know, I don't, you know, once you get past the fear that you feel, you know that if you face the fear, you know that you'll free your soul. So what's more important, mine is freedom, is yours safety. So that is um, yours is safety, then you will not, you will not choose to jump. Do you know what I mean? You've got to see that. It's yes. kind, of a, kind of a catch-22, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. That if, makes so much go, sense. I want to be safe, so I'm not, I'm not going to go jump. But if I jump, <laughs> then I free myself. But no, I, I so want safety. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to ask Vicky for a thumbs up. Is it all working in the group, Vicky? Okay, good. Beautiful. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, so that's, can you see that? Oh, yeah, totally. I didn't see that before. Totally. So you playing safe and God just keep safe um, stops this freedom for you and because you so longed for it. So it's it's a way that you need to redefine that safety will be when you jump because when you jump, then you're trusting the universe. You know, you know, it's it's like a it's a bit like somebody. You know, I know someone. I'm not going to say the name, but someone gave their child a name. <laughs> tells them something and I go to and I said to them you might want to redefine the name you gave your child because you're causing him to have to have difficulties to match his name uh and he was having difficulties it's a bit so we've got to really look at uh redefining how what really safety is safety is means that no longer do you have to uh do it yourself safety is that I'm now I have it within and only get you only get that within once you jump because once you jump you go the universe is totally I understand the laws and I understand if I if I've got fear of not being safe then I create the opposite. Yes. So it's like you now are going to focus on um, 
complete safety. And you're going to, and, and you're just going to go jump. You're going to go do a bungee <laughs> jump or something. And that will go, you know what? I'm yep. going to jump my fears of not being safe or, do, you know, in a way of whatever way you want to, but then you're totally free of it. It's almost like, okay, I'm going to die. That'll be fine. So what? That's probably. So I die. I die. The, that's, yeah. So I die, I die. And like, and so when you get rid of the fear, then, then you have all the power. So what are your fears yep. of being abandoned? Is it, is that worse? And what is the worst fear? Yeah. Being a nothing. Be seen as a nothing. I've been trying so, to prove myself, <laughs> my worth. <laughs> yeah. By saving, by doing. Yeah. Right. By my deeds. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I, guess I what? Guess what? Yes. Yeah. We're saving. Yeah. So, so now that you've realised your biggest fear is going, I am a nothing, because that's what your parents and your upbringing taught you, you're going to go to yourself. Look how amazing I am. And you're going to give it to yourself. And you're going to stop by going, Stop by when you stop trying to prove yourself, and then you ha then you'll be in a, a, a crazy place where you go, oh my God, then who am I? And you have to you'll find it yourself. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, okay. Um, and when you're a nothing, then you get treated like nothing. Yep. So yes. What happens? Okay, let's go worst case scenario. What happens if you are a nothing? What happens if someone thinks you're a nothing? Then what? The fear, the the words that come is that I die. Like I'm not worth okay. rescuing. It's the rescuing thing. I'm not worth saving. Right. Something like that. Okay. Okay, so let's now go, let's go release that from your energy field by saying. You're going to go so that I'm going to talk you through some sentences and we're going to go right to the biggest fear and then you're just going to breathe it out. Okay. So that okay. you're in a situation and you're in so need. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that someone okay. someone says to you or you're in a situation that you're in need and everyone leaves you. They all leave you. Then, then what happens? What are you saying to yourself? I just have to support myself. I can do that. That doesn't make sense. So there's no fear? Don't you have a fear anymore? Is that gone now? I think I seem to disconnect from that. I'm feeling like I'm disconnecting from that. Mm. Yeah. Because of the okay, hospital so thing. To it. Then, look, at them. Look, at them go, well, look at them going off now. Look at them really running off and you're there. You're standing there. You're like with the animals. There it is. Right. I feel really angry, actually. I'm feeling angry. Yeah. So you're going to now connect to source. We're going to now change that anger. I'm going to go right to source because source will step right in. Right. So where you are, you're on your own. So that energy of that hurt and that pain now goes straight to source, straight up, and then it encases you. It brings you the angel that says, no, you're not with me. I'm with you. I'm going to care for you. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to keep you safe. So do a nice deep breathing. Peace has arrived. You can't be nothing because you're everything. You're connected to everyone. You are source. You are me. I am you. You are them. So you can't be nothing because you exist. You can never be nothing, never, no matter how many times you think it. Okay, so I just have a bit of a feeling of disbelief about believing that. Well, it's logic. I know. There's logic going. You exist, so you can't be nothing. You can never be nothing. 
and that's going to be shifting that blueprint and you're going to in that pain and that's why if you don't work on this connection to source the universe will take stuff away from you again like i'm wondering doing those fires were you connecting to source were you really connecting what were you doing surviving and not I connecting to source you were surviving but not instead of connecting to source do you know what I do? And I'm going to reiterate this. When I'm in the biggest, worst space, my go-to is, right, I'm going to have to get to source because I have no power. And you go into survival instead of connect to source. And I've been in survival, and I'm just giving you the heads up. I'm just trying to take off another 20 years for everybody because <laughs> I've done that, survival, and you're scared and you go into fear and worry. Well, being there, done that, it doesn't work. So now I go straight to source. I am fasting. I am, like, shifting. I am, like, being aware. I'm looking at how I've created this, and I'm going to get this out of my blueprint. I'm going to go. I'm going to die on the floor if I have to because I'm not suffering anymore. My thinking is I'm thinking... I cannot, I have to release myself because I ha- I cannot live in this world now so connected with nothing. It would be painful for me to be living at my mum's or something or whatever, you know, that would it'd be so painful if I can't have uh, <laughs> silence. Uh, that's my, yeah, my worst case scenario is how's that now? I'm getting stuck living with my mum, that's hell on earth. <laughs> because my energy would go nuts. It goes nuts anyway. But anyway, uh, but, but, so I go to connect to source, and that's what you now need to do. You have to go, I'm not doing survival. I'm going to connect to source. And you failed to do that with the fires. So don't do it now because the universe uh, will it teach you again. <clears throat> if you your fire. Mm. Yes, I did I it eventually, say- but or- originally I went into to survival, which is what I've always yeah, done. Yeah, which is your normal. And I, always, and I worked my way out of it. And then I connected afterwards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it took you a while. So I want you to say, I choose to connect to source. I ch- choose to connect to source. I choose to feel safe. I choose to feel safe. I choose to know I have power. I choose to know I have power. No more survival because that you just drive your old, all right? You're going to go straight to source and you're going to do it every day. You're not even going to wait for a crisis. You're going to okay. go, thank you, source. You can be thank you, source. You can give me power. No, that's really what you, that's what anybody, any successful person does. So I made a commitment. I go, I go, I say to say to source, you help me with this and I'll do that, I'm, which means that I will do my, what I'm supposed to do to get spiritual and I have to keep my word. So I've made, I will get up every day and I will create a foundation of connection to source. And and even though it's good times, I still do it because I made a promise and I can see why it, it's t- it takes me to my knees so that it says you change because if you don't change, your life doesn't change. And, uh, you know. Feeling that in my heart, Chakra. What are you feeling? Yep. I'm feeling it's shifting. I feel the truth in yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at Warney, right? Look at him. That's from every day, just peace in him, right? Every day, just peace goes into him, love goes into him. He's actually quite a timid little kitty, but that's <laughs> continual every day. So that's where you can be at. We can all have that by just every day. I'm just going to give love for myself. I'm just going to think that I'm love. I'm going to make sure I'm aware and I'm not going to watch. I'm going to make opposite of survival is thriving. So you watch how you thrive. You say, I'm looking at me, I'm thriving. Look what's thriving and then you'll see the whole world change. And humanity won't suffer. Humanity won't suffer. You have to stop. You have to stop your suffering. I can feel the shift happening. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. As you're talking. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just look at Warnie and I just go, oh, my God. I don't know. He's healing for me. I just look at him and I go, face. Yeah, my gypsy too. Yeah. Yeah, what a face. My gy- All right. My gy- okay. My gypsy's not as calm as Warnie though, but that's for obvious yeah. reasons. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's the surrogate that, that I will use when I need to heal an animal and stuff like that. But everything is reflecting around you. And uh, the, yep. the where you were caught up in the fires is a reflection. So when we 
uh, release that, which I'm going to do a blueprint release at the end. Okay, nice deep breath in. All right, lovely. That's better. That? That's better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, Thank gorgeous. You. I'm going to bring I'm going to bring Jacinta up, and then we're going to bring okay. you down. Thank you, lovely. All right, Jacinta, put you back on. There we go. Hey, lovely. Hi, Marisa. Hey, gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> yeah, right back at you. So, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Well, I had the meet up yesterday, so I'm actually feeling quite quite grounded and good. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. Yes. Great. All right. So I gave you some words and I yeah. gave you an age. So I've actually written down your words. Okay. You know them or do you want me to read yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah, I know them. Yep. Okay. What are they? Um, disconnected, soul trauma, trapped, soul karma, fear and ancestral. Okay. So fear makes sense. Uh, trapped is a common one. Everyone feeling trapped. The animals felt trapped yeah. in the fires. Mm -hmm. And then what was your age? Eight. Do you remember anything? Um, I was trying to think of when you gave me age eight. All I could think of was like Robin, like felt even though like my parents were loving, but I felt abandoned because because I was adopted. So and um, also, yeah, and also self conscious because I used to wear glasses and so at that age at school, yeah. So, okay, that's interesting, adopted. So adopted, it's almost like these animals are now having to get adopted. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? They've like lost their parents, they've lost yep. their family, they've lost their their their, their baby animals. Yep. There's this, I don't, this foreign environment kind of thing, yeah? Mm. Yeah, that's right, completely stripped of everything familiar and safe. How old were you when you were adopted? I was six weeks old. I was in the baby home for six weeks and then I was adopted to my parents. Yeah, and th that has to be very traumatic for, I mean, you don't remember it, but it's mm. kind of, you know, it's your, your most vulnerable. Mm. Yeah. And did you feel you belonged in your family? No, that's the thing, even though, like I said, my parents were loving and yeah. I had my brother, but at the same time, like cousins used to, I remember, like cousins used to say, oh, you look like, you know, like my cousin used to say to it, you know, my other cousin, oh, we look alike. Or, and I used, to, I used to feel left out, like on myself. Oh, so they wouldn't say that you look like each other. They would say it with, they, not you look like someone, they'd say to someone else. So you, yeah, they never yeah, said. And used to, yeah, and I used to feel hurt because, I mean, they didn't do it intentionally to hurt sure, me. Sure, sure. But, but I used to take it. Right. Yeah, okay, right. so the and trapped and uh, then you've got uh, some. I think he said soul karma or something. Yeah. Soul, okay. Soul karma and soul. Yes. Trauma. So that would be um, from past lifetimes again. Mm -hmm. We're just repeating our our karmic cycles. Yeah. So do you find that you've had that in life then, as you got older? Have you found that you know? through adulthood or teenage you've you've repeated a cycle of not feeling like you've fitted in um, yes it's yeah throughout at different times i have um definitely felt trapped that's okay so it's trapped the big one for you yeah okay a trapped in what um just age i i think it's just at different times like especially um probably 2000, uh, 2014, around that time, or 2000, yeah, 11, 12, 13, I felt trapped, like, in my relationship, so. Okay, trapped, okay, trapped in a life that, in a relationship, which is a life that wasn't nurturing, right? Mm, that's right, yeah. Okay, and I guess that's very much how these animals have been feeling, because they're trapped in our, in our system, they're trapped in what we do to them, we're trapped in how we trap them, how we cage them, how we abuse them or how whatever. Yeah. Well then. So it probably at that age is probably when it started to much probably be more be more aware of it or something. We don't often remember exactly everything, but we'll go for that trap because you're trapped in a life that doesn't feel like it's really your life. It's not really, you know, your people, really 
uh, you know, similarities as you're trapped in this foreign environment by the sounds of it, yeah? So then you did that in adulthood with another relationship. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. So anything else you wanted to add to that? Um, I can definitely relate to soul trauma. I've had that, yeah. I said soul trauma. Yeah, so it's trauma stuck on the soul. So I think we're going to remove the, uh, you. that's what they do. They say that if we can uh, traumatise someone right, to, especially during death, then that's quite a violent trauma stuck on their soul. Mm. Yeah, and, and I can relate to disconnected because I actually, when the fires were on, you know, being an empath obviously, and I felt really disconnected and um but years ago when, when I was going through, like, energetic abuse, I, I disconnected to survive it. So, Oh, right. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I could survive it. So. Yeah, okay. So, therefore, um, yeah, like a little bit like we talked about Robin, she goes in and mm -hmm. she goes into the survival and, and that's designed, it's, everything is not your fault. None of this is anyone's fault, but it's designed that way to make you naturally go back to I can't feel that. Mm -hmm. and, and, in fact, instead of um, disconnecting to source, we, we want to disconnect because everything is, you know, everything, we're all part of everything. So you go, if I connect, if I get too connected, I can feel too much pain. Mm. Yeah. Instead of going, you know what, connecting to source and ri rising myself above the pain and getting myself more healed mm. is this way out. It, it's 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 a little tricky in the way of thinking of the, but the more I connect to source and get me rising above this mm. and by saying to yourself because that's what I all say to myself if I see something I go I've got to get this out of myself because mm. I am mm. creating that I've, I notice it anyone that hangs out with me or is connected to me their energy goes in me and then I watch all the people around me be similar you know I just watched in fact my mum always whinges about the noise around her and the neighbours and whatever, and i got someone that lives near me, same story, same things. I'm like, you know, I hear the same stuff. I'm like, you're just like my mum because um, that energy goes in me. So I've got to somehow work out that I don't keep creating people that are whinging about their environments because then I, I'll, if I spend too much time, I end up with a bad environment mm. as well. So that's how, kind of how that works. I have to, you know, heal myself more from my mother and do yeah. something about that story and that's how this all works. All right, so yours would be similar to what we talked about with Rob and is right, going, okay, I'm going to connect to source and rise me above this trauma that's stuck in my body. Mm. And the more trauma you have in your body, the more horror you feel. But this is the whole thing. If we don't rise above it and connect to ourselves and release the trauma and stress from our bodies, we recycle back. Mm. It's like we have to face it in a way but mm. rise. And, yes, it is painful, so we run from the pain. Yeah. So I just put that out there. That's, in theory, what we're doing. Of course, we don't mean to do it. We just do what we're trained to do. But I'm just kind of giving you in theory how it really works yes. so if we look back at that little girl and we looked at her uh, looked in her eyes what do you think you would tell her if you could if you were her mother and you see her looking up and looking how trapped she feels in that life what would be some words that you would tell her that would make her feel better mm. you are loved you're precious you're amazing mm. You can trust me. I'm here for yeah. you. Trust. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I've got you. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've got you, right? Because you haven't really had that, I think. It's hard to have someone, you know, you say you, you felt disconnected. That means that you didn't feel someone had got you, got you back, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's now go back to that time and release this uh, soul trauma that's been on there for many lifetimes out of your energy, out of your soul. Release that from your consciousness. Release that from your blueprint. <sighs> Bring peace and calm and connection.
okay. More peace, yeah? Yeah, thank you. All right, beautiful. Mm, thank you, beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, I think, bring back, I'm just going to bring Vicky on because she's going to have one correction. I won't get, I won't be able to bring everyone else back on. I'm going to do one correction, but then, okay. then I'm going to do the restoration of the feminine earth and fallen goddess energy. Yeah. And then we'll finish up. Uh, but I'm so grateful that you have chosen to be part of Healing Humanity. A bit rough trying to get it going, but it, it finally it worked. And uh, yeah. and I, now I know how it works that I can only, it looks like to make this easy, only three people just because I can't pick. Yeah. yeah, it looks like if I have four now, I have to keep kicking someone off. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's only, yeah. Well, yeah, I've got a dashboard down below yeah. and at the moment if Renee was on, I can't see her, you know, oh, so I can't okay. even go to bring her on. I have to go kick someone off. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so now I understand all the logistics, but thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Bless you and uh, you. I'll bring uh, Thanks, I'll bring, okay. you, Jacinta. I'll oh. bring you see, okay. beautiful. All right, so now bring up what, what healing pathway did you get? Uh, I got soul ascension consciousness from um, yeah oh. six men, so I thought that that'd be nice. Yeah, so we're yeah ascending our soul consciousness. Let's have a look. And what I'll do is I'll finish this video off, and then I'll just I'm just going to stick up my video that I made because it looks like I didn't really work it properly. No, uh, what number was it? Six men in soul module. Soul ascension. 16. 6, 10. 10 from soul. 10. Soul ascension. Okay, so, yeah, we're ascending. This is definitely yeah. this is definitely uh, what we're doing. And although there's, there's a very corrupt system out there, uh, we have that power to transcend that, this system. I've experienced it myself. I've experienced people, you know, with it trying to use their system against me. But when I've connected to source, it's magically overpowered them, or that you know, it's 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 given me what I needed, and they haven't, or or they provide they provide people that will give me what I want. So it's not even a fight often. But this is what we have to do: is go. We have now power that we haven't acknowledged inside us. So let's do this. Accessing all levels of advanced consciousness, advanced dimensions, the guardians, enlightened beings. I request the removal and cancellation of the corrupted soul matrix connected to all the animals in Australia and to our energy field and to the matrix so that they can ascend to the fifth dimension and beyond. I request the activation for all those animals and each one of us connected and our DNA through the removal of all black magic curses, control, manipulation, implants, fear, energetic blocks relating to New World Order, Illuminati, Nazi agenda and the cabal. Inhumanity coding of blood sacrifice and soul sacrifice, harmful alien entities, cosmic para parasites, dracos and reptilians. The fear frequencies, the negative influence and programming of the government, military, ancestral or inherited dysfunctions of guilt, shame, fear, low self-worth, emotional, physical, spiritual, sexual abuse, and negative karmic seeds, implanted metal structures, etheric weapons and burn mark brands. So let's now activate. Uh, I'm going to just have to quickly go through this activation of the protection layer from psychotronics. Uh, activation of the powers of sacred geometry, activation of the 12 DNA strands in the aura body. Releasing Mother Earth from the corrupted matrix, removal of the quarantine triple six implant in all animals, souls, and our, our soul and DNA and consciousness. Okay, so I'm now just going to access the words of power. Aram Nereya, Kali, Lekab, Lahe, Saye, Vayu, Doni, Amen, Mabe, Ayo, Aram Nereya. Now we're going to correct, uh, request the access and assistance of the spiritual powers from Archangel Scythra Drayan, consciousness of the Angelus, aeroleptic intelligence. So just place your, your fingers on your heart center and uh, repeat this. And say your name and, and we'll say, like I'll say, I'm Marisa in connection to all the animals in Australia. So you can say your name. I in, you say in connection to all the animals in Australia? All the animals in Australia. Confirm all ascension blocks are now released. Confirm all ascension blocks are now released. I confirm my soul's ascension process. 
I confirm my soul's ascension process. Is activated. 100% activated. A safe transition into the fifth dimension and beyond. Transition into the fifth dimension and beyond. The freedom, the freedom peace. peace. Until the oneness with humanity. From this point forward. Okay, I'm going to close down the case. I think that will be fine to end up on. And um, then we will uh, finish up. And I'm certainly so grateful for your dedication and your energy to be part of this ongoing uh, system that I want to do to do it. I'll see how often I'll do it. But this is what I need. I need amazing healers to do this because, again, we need to be supported. You need to, like you know, that's the one thing. Support is really important. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I can see now how it's all transitioned. Forensic healers, I need you. I request the purification and cleansing process of white and gold, pure organic light and dissolve all negative energies and attachments from all the animals that have been abused and, and tortured and suffering and caught up in the fires in, in, in Australia at this time. And I need to focus on that because I'll do another area next time if i if i generalize the focus i miss the energy going to a certain place but we'll do the other animals the next healing myself this room this building surrounding area anyone or anything affected by this healing i request closure and disabling of harmful portals gateways channels stargates naa firewalls and access routes to other dimensions realities controlling interfering uh i'm going to bring uh robin up because i can bring three people up connected to the organic pure white light source Perhaps I can. I ask the guardians and angels for blessings upon all the animals that have been traumatized by these fires, for all the things that they require to obtain soul freedom and sovereignty. I ask the guardian ask that they guide and protect all those animals and lead them on a path of freedom, humanity, some food, some shelter water, safety, support and nurture to assist with the evolution of their soul and humanity. I ask that healing may continue throughout this time and that these animals that are beautiful, pure creatures on this earth may always know that they are of divine, infinite worth and they hold the power and choice for their transformation. I confirm these requests have taken place and this healing is complete. <sighs> Okay. Hey, how's everyone doing? Emotions, yeah, just kind of lifting off. Um, Can you hear me or no? Yeah, I've got you up now. Yep, I've turned you on. Ah. Oh. I'll just let you know what my healing that I came up with was um, soul, spiritual soul protection. Okay, great. That's perfect. Great. Okay, so thank you. That will be added in that. I'll, yeah, it's just by mentioning it just because we're now over time now. Like we started late, but it's yeah. uh, good now. I am so, I am beyond um, grateful. I am beyond because, I, as I said, I cannot do, we cannot do this alone and we need to be supportive and connect to source. And this is this is the biggest privilege that I've ever been able to do with and also sharing it with such amazing healers with such beautiful hearts. And I am so, so grateful that I can now really make you know it's small now but i want to make i want to make it big but we're shifting blueprints which means that energetically that's where everything starts so i can see the power in it <sighs> and people can know that this healing so when they see an abused animal particularly in australia we'll have different videos i'll go with that they can go that healing is for that animal and then it will be projected on them so they just have to have that thought. They go, I want that healing for that animal if they've ever seen this video. It's amazing. Beautiful. Thank you. 
I never want to. I never ever want to stop. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll don't have to. Okay, going through the whole world of animals. <laughs> All Next right, well, I'm going to pop up my video. Thank you again, lovely ladies. You know the what to do from here, and I will, um, I I will be in touch. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank and you. Thank you. Bye, lovely ladies. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.